In the studio, Haley Steinfeld, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good to see you again. First of all, we're so excited to have you for Jingle Ball. Thank you, me too. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait. Now, do you get to like hang out? Because I know I've been by, you know, at Jingle Balls before and you kind of see uh, artists maybe sometimes sit side stage and watch other artists. Totally. I am that person for sure. I last year couldn't believe I was on the lineup with so many of my favorite artists and again this year. So I am excited to be fangirling. Yeah, it's cool. No, it's cool. And, but you're, you're just an awesome. You put on a great performance. Thank you. Um, Starving, I, lo I love. That's becoming like an anthem for girls, which I think is so cool oh, too. Thank you, yeah. How was Zed to work with? He was awesome. Uh, just such a talented person. I mean, I'm such a huge fan of him and he's such a perfectionist and so much fun. I mean, any time you're working and it doesn't feel like work, you know it's a good it's a good place to be. Yeah, he's almost too nice though. You're like, what are you hiding? You're so nice. Oh no, you he's know, a good he's a good guy. Uh you got so much going. I don't know how you balance everything. How do you balance everything between music and movies? You got a new movie coming out which you're out we're excited about. Yes, thank you. The Edge of Seventeen I'm very excited about as well. Um I just kinda try and take everything one day at a time. Yeah. Um but yeah, it's kind of crazy because last year I wrapped this movie at like five in the morning. I got straight on a plane, went right into that same day rehearsals for Jingle Ball and started the run last year. Um, so it's crazy that it's kind of happening again in a similar way where the movie's out, kind of. Yeah, almost and here it goes. There, and now now we're getting Jingle Balls. How, how do you prepare for a role? Well, first of all, tell us a little bit about the movie, if people don't know. So The Edge of Seventeen, I play a character named Nadine who is on The Edge of Seventeen. Yeah. There you go. Uh, no, we'll see this, yeah, great, <laughs> enjoy. Uh, this character is just trying to figure out sort of who she is and what her place is on this earth and what life really means, and she's just, you know, in the midst of figuring everything out for herself and, and going from thinking she's got the world figured out to then realizing she doesn't and that's okay, uh, and everything in between. So. How do you prepare for a role? I always, I always feel like with actors and actresses, you, you get so deep in it and like, don't talk to me. Uh -huh. I'm an I'm in character. How right. do you prepare? Um, I will spend as as long as I can before the movie, before the our start date, uh, researching whatever it is I feel I need to research for the part, uh, for the story itself, for the time. Luckily, uh, a lot of this obviously it's a contemporary piece and it's a age that I was not too long ago that yeah. I was playing. So um, I was really able to just kind of be that teenage self. Of which is cool. Yeah, you can just kind of yeah. be yourself, kind of be yourself in a weird way. Sure. Yeah, you're like, yeah. Um, I, and you never have to choose that you would ever have to do music or acting. Don't make music. me. Don't ask. I know. Me. I would ah! never ask that question because it's like you know you why, you can't just choose something. You right. love both things. Exactly. Um, especially when you get to combine the worlds, like in certain you know productions that you've done and whatnot. But um, if you when you're balancing and doing music, do, do the worlds ever collide as far as like you're making a movie and you're writing at the same time, and the movie's affecting your songwriting? No, it absolutely. I, I'm I'm realizing sort of how they benefit each other, or how they sort of yeah. you know, play on each other, and being in the studio writing about uh, experiences. Whereas, you know, I guess in some ways, if I watch a movie, I'll write down a certain scenario, and obviously, it's inspiring me. Oh, it's cool. not something yeah. that I've gone through. But if I have acted in that movie that I'm referencing, I've I've lived through that sort of moment, and I can talk about it because I've been there in the in a way. Yeah, I know. Right? Yeah, in a you weird know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, that obviously was me, uh, but just playing playing a part and experiencing something obviously outside of whether it was outside of my comfort zone or something that I had experienced to some degree. I can still talk about it because I I went through it. Yeah, I get that. Um, you've done a lot of stuff at obviously such a young age. How old are you now? You're only what? Nineteen. God, I thought you were 20, so you're only 19 years old. I feel like I'll such a loser every time I talk I'll to you. Stop. That's what I always remember. I'm like 19, and she's accomplished so much. Oh, goodness. But did, did, you're setting the bar high. It's like, what do you, you, there's so much more you can do. What is like one thing you want to make happen I, I, as far as a goal for you? I was really goal? hoping you weren't going to say, like, before you turn 20. No, before you turn 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to figure this um, out. Um, Wow, one thing I, you know, it's so crazy because everything that's happened in a year, a year ago from today, I right. would have never imagined any of it would have happened, at least the way it, it has all happened. <laughs> um, but I guess if I could just continue doing what I'm doing and, and that's what I love, then I'll be happy. I don't know. I it's don't know. pretty tough, I know. Yeah, I, I don't think about it. No. I gotta get to work. <laughs> oh yeah, you need to get to work. I think that's the last thing you need. Um, has there been a highlight so far that really sticks out to you, whether it's like a show or a moment or maybe somebody that was starstruck by you that you didn't expect? 
Oh my gosh. Uh, I mean, I've had so many, again, crazy moments in the last year. I mean, the last couple months, let alone the last year. But uh, going on my first tour with Megan Trainer, that was insane. Yeah. Uh, this movie really I, is something I'm so very proud of, and, and it's been a minute since I've had a movie out, so I'm very excited for people to, to see me in this. Uh, and I'm working on my first album, which is insane. And I, again, never thought that would ever happen, so it's happening, and I couldn't be more excited. How much do you draw from personal experience when you're writing for the album? I mean... Everything? Every, well, like, yeah. Like, a lot, a lot of stuff? Or yeah, I mean, that's it's kind of terrifying, but also extremely exciting at the same time. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's been a matter of, like, experiencing something and either writing it all down in that moment or going straight into the studio and just saying, like, play me some chords. I've got something on my mind just and I want to talk happen. about it. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. That's awesome. Edge of 17. I think you're doing a little screening now. Are you going to the screening tonight? They're, they're I will be there. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Well, we're all showing I up. I'll be then. sitting behind you. I know. That I would be so weird. <laughs> I'd be like, well, I couldn't focus on the movie. I right. right there. Um, that's awesome. Congratulations on all your success so Thank far. You. We're excited to have you at Jingle Ball. I know we got Megan Trainer is going to be there. We got Charlie Puth, uh, Fifth Harmony. Uh, we're, we've got even got Backstreet Boys. Word, that's crazy. Be, like, yeah, I feel like I'm excited about the Backstreet Boys. I mean, I'm excited about you too. Thank you. I'd be excited if you guys came out and did a song together. Well, I guess it's, you not, never know. it's never too no late pressure. to start the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haley Steinfeld, thank you so much. We appreciate thank it. Thank you. Awesome.